Ah, man, it's been a long time. What's going on, guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Calls, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now, in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how I apply my beard oil, which to me has been by far probably the best way that I've learned to apply this beard oil over the years. Now, I know a lot of us like to just put it in our hands rub it together, rub it straight through our beard. The problem is when you're doing that, it's not getting to the skin. I know y'all hear this a lot. So I've always kind of done this, put it in my hand, rub it through, rub it in real good, warm it up, put it in my beard, touch my skin with uh, my fingertips a little bit. And that little bit of oil that's on the fingertips will get to the skin. All right, but for me here lately with my beard at this length, it just hasn't been enough. So I'm going to show you guys, in my opinion, which is the best way, especially if your beard is this long, and it just helps eliminate that, and it helps, you know, this oil really prevents itch, especially when your beard is getting longer like this. In the drier months, my beard has just been itching like crazy, so I kind of figured out this slowly. I had to break my old habits, and this has really helped me out. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So we'll get my beard oil, shake this up. Han Yocker, by the way. All right. So... Now we'll get what we need out of this bottle. All right. Which is about a dropper somewhere in there. I probably, I need more than that, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you. We get the dropper, we got the beard oil full, okay? Now what we're going to do is take this and literally just barely squeeze the tip of it in different spots. So I'm going to squeeze the tip, let a little bit out. And what it's going to do is going to drain down my chin, all right? So we're going to put it higher up here and put it in just different places, all right? We're going to barely squeeze the tip. Now I'm just barely pinching this, just enough. You can see it's still almost full. But I can feel it running down my chin. And all I'm doing is putting this in different spots, all right? And I'll do that until that dropper is empty all right there's nothing left in there now i'll take my hands as i feel this running down my jaws and i'll go underneath all right and this really lets me get that skin underneath because it's already dripping all down in different all so many different spots you've seen how i kind of you know created all these different spots to let it drip down so it's a lot more easier for me to get that on my skin and now I can actually feel my my fingertips, which you probably can't see, but you can see they're a little shiny. I can actually feel my fingertips getting greasy and moisturized. You know, usually when you do this and you put it in just your hands and rub it together like that, rub it through your beard, and then go back, you don't have enough on your fingertips, okay? So when you do it this way, it's all on your skin already, and all you got to do is just rub it around, you know? Just rub it around. But after I get that right there, okay? I do that with my beard size I'll come back get another half a dropper or so and then put that into my hand and actually rub that together and rub that through the outside of my beard just like that just so I got that nice thick layer smells good all a lot of us you know we go just for the smell but we got to get that skin underneath so get it like that so now i got it under my skin real good on my uh all my cheeks and underneath here where it really starts itching i got it on there real good and i've got it all through my beard here good now this is the point where you would either let it sit for a little bit and then brush it out whatever you want to do i personally put it in my beard with my hands like this and I brush right back through it. I don't really wait. You know, I'm always in a hurry when I do my beard. So I don't have really the time just to sit around and wait. So I personally put it in my beard and brush right back through it, blow dry my beard, straighten it out, whatever I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just kind of comb through it. All right. So now, and usually I use a brush too. I didn't bring that for, um, this video, but usually I'll brush backwards underneath here out. Um, but I got enough of my fingers. My hand's still a little, it's got a little bit on it. But that is the way that I do it. And of course, the mustache, you know, I just rub it on there because my mustache doesn't ever really itch. And when you rub something on there, it pretty much gets to the skin, anyways, in my opinion. So, but yeah, that's how I apply it right there, guys. That's my new way that I apply my beard oil. And <clears throat> yeah. 
Got a nice looking beard right there. And my skin is all oiled up. It's not greasy. It's just oiled up and it's ready to attack anything that's going to try to make my beard itchy. By doing that, putting it directly on the skin, squeezing that dropper in different spots. Man, I don't know if any of you guys try this, but it really, really helps. If any of you guys do this, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't, I really suggest that you try this. See if it makes a difference, especially if you got a big beard that is itchy, or maybe you're getting a little bit of deer, uh, beard danger. You're not getting quite enough oil down to your skin, so this here should help prevent that. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, see y'all in the next one.